Now, this pad was really huge and really lovely, and I really like it. And we will design it today because it's the Sweet Sun Sunday, and I'm Busy Lest, and this is my channel, which is all about making music, sound design, Ableton Live, and all things related. So, now without further ado, let's just run into the Ableton and let's start designing. We will be creating a pad sound, so there's a couple of things we need to change. First things first, the envelope. We'll have to have a little bit slower attack. Oh, first things first, we need to change the template to a default. Okay, now, so the attack will be a little bit slower, like so. Also release. Okay, perfect. Let's find nice waveforms because, okay, this one's not the perfect one. Let's go to pigments four. Elastic is quite nice. And let's use an LFO to sweep through it. So let's drag it here. But once we're here, we want our LFOs to be a little bit slower. So let's go down with the speed here and let's change it to free running. So it's not resetting. Same with here. Let's make this one really slow as well. And let's use a random engine to randomize the speed of them because we want to have them even more random, not so predictable. Let's go to random. We'll use the first one. Let's change the rates to one over one. Length is fine. And then, uh, yeah, okay, let's assign it to the LFO like so. So random, it's gonna modulate the rate, but not that much just some slower values. And it's gonna do the same with this one. But maybe like the other way around, so minus. So this one's gonna go faster, this one's gonna get slower. Okay, perfect. Now we have this already affecting our wave table. Okay, that's cool. Filter. Let's go to the filter. Let's change this one to a Jupiter 8. Let's roll down the cutoff. Let's say up to even that far. Let's bring some more resonance. Okay, very cool, very delicate. Let's turn the filter to on. Let's add kind of similar thing here. Maybe a little bit more open. Okay, so let's design an oscillator number two. Let's turn it on. It will be a sample, but not this one. We're gonna go to a granular friendly. And yes, we're gonna be doing some granular stuff. So let's find the sprinkle one. It's gonna be like a tiny hiss and like a sparkles in the back. Nothing very prominent, but uh, it will be there. Let's go with the start somewhere here in the middle. Let's turn on the granular, change the direction to like 50, 50% 50 forward and backwards. Something like that. Let's randomize the start. Oh, let's listen to the second one for sure first. That's why we need a second filter because it's a little bit more open. So we want to drag this out with the filter number two. Okay, let's uh, randomize the pitch a little bit. Make density as well. Size of the grain. Okay, now it's getting interesting. Now we use the other for two to uh, to play with the start of the sample, but very little, like so. Okay, that's that's cool. So we need a cutoff of the filter. So it's let's do something with the filters now. Let's uh, create an envelope <coughs> number two which will have like a quite fast attack, uh, maybe a little bit longer decay, like three quarters of a second, and similar release. And let's assign it to the filter cutoff, which will be more prominent here on the engine number one. Okay, that's cool. A little bit like uh, organs, but uh, let's uh, let's do more design. 
So let's add a noise, but not this noise. We're going to use a natural rain. Let's say rain sounds here. And let's use an LFO to play with the volume. We want it to go to the filter number two and let's add a little bit more of a high pass. And then let's add another oscillator, like a sub oscillator here. But very delicate. We have all these hissing sounds, maybe that's a little bit too much. Let's bring the output down a little bit. Okay, and let's add a unison of the sample here. So we have a little bit more of the voices. Let's go three and detune it just a little bit. So let's uh, do this engine number two is done. Engine number one is basically done. We're going to be playing with a module in a moment. And a very important and actually quite cool thing that we're going to design is that it will be pulsating. Pulsating a lot, but not instantly, not from the beginning. We will use a module to add the pulsation. So how are we going to do that? It's actually quite simple. Let's go to the airfall number three. It is fast, so let's leave it similar. But let's use this shape here. Let's sync the rate to a eighth note. Okay, and let's add it to the volume output of the engine number one. Okay. Let's design what it will be the maximum level of the modulation. Let's say we want it to be that hard, okay. Let's uh, add the same to the fine tuning of the same engine. Because this is like a melodic engine, the rest are like granular or noise engines. That's uh, quite heavy. Okay, but now let's come here to the LFO. Click on the assign and then we can side chain it with our module. So let's click this button, find module. And let's go all the way to one. So it's going to sidechain 100% of the module. So if the module is going to be on the lower position, let's sidechain this one as well. Let's check the module. It's here on the very bottom. So we can actually see it here. And if I'm going to play a note, it's going to be on the very bottom. And we can see these volumes here on the output and fine tuning. We'll start changing once I'll just move the module up. Okay, that's a cool technique to do. Okay, let's do something else with the module. So let's add the module to the cutoff frequency. We want to open that filter a little bit. We can open the other one as well, but just a tiny bit, but let's close the resonance. So let's add it again. Let's go here. Um, uh, negative values. It's pulsating quite a lot and opening all the sounds here in the back, which is actually very cool. Maybe the module goes too hard a little bit. Let's bring that LFO down a little bit. That should be fine. I get too much of this hissing sound, so let's go down with the volume here. That's this engine number two. Let's, let's slap an LFO on it as well, why not? Now, the effects will change everything. Let's go to the effects section, and the first things first, we're gonna add a shimmer. So like a shimmer reverb. But let's bring the dry wet down a little bit, less feedback, and let's try to play something now. Okay, 
Okay, cool. Let's slap this reverb uh, somewhere here. And we can add it a little bit. That's nice. I like it. I like the shimmer. And then what else can we do? We can add like a chorus. Let's say chorus. Change the phase. Let's uh, change the depth and rate. Okay. And let's also control the lows a little bit more. So let's use a multi filter, change it to high pass 24 decibel per octave, and let's play with the cutoff. Let's play with the mod wheel now. Well, it makes all the sense now with all the reverbs and shiver to listen to the pulsating sound now. Let's play with some different octaves. Let's go octave down. There's this phasing effect from the chorus. Okay, now let's uh, also design these macros. So let's assign the first macro as an effect macro. So we'll add some more of the shimmer. Okay, let's make it moderately dry at the start, and then we're gonna add it to like the halfway through. Let's do the same with a, oh, not here. Let's do the same here with a chorus, uh, but just a tiny bit. Okay, let's make it a little bit more dry now. Perfect, and let's go to this reverb at the end. I specifically posted it at the end in case we want to add some more effects. You can add like a distortion or something. Let's do the same here, let's put it relatively dry. Okay, and then the macro, we'll just call it FX. We get too much of the Juno chorus for sure. Okay, let's go back. Let's make it like really, really dry. Okay, that's much better. Let's go to higher octaves. This is really <laughs> quiet. Let's go even higher. That's actually cool. And let's morph it a little bit. Let's use this uh, macro number two to morph the sound a little bit more. So. How are we going to do it? We're going to play with the volume here. Let's slap it here. And then let's go. The more we're going to add it, the less of this sample we're going to hear. The same here with the rain sample. Let's go here in a minus. And then we're going to add a little bit more here, like so. Maybe we're going to put that down a little bit. So it's gonna be like much sharper. More effects and a mod wheel. Very lushy and very thick, and I really like it. I have like a strings in the back, like this is really a hero, hero pad. Let's save the preset now. Let's call it uh, pulsating pads. Put it in the pads, ambient pads, and let's add a description. Try the module. Okay, perfect. That's the sound done. I will export it and you will be able to download it from my website. Now, was that simple? Was that easy? There were some couple tips and tricks that you can use in your sound design sessions. And of course, you can download this patch for free from the link in the description box down below. Of course, leave the comments if you want some more sounds to be designed by me. And if you have some suggestions, of course, leave them in the comments box down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, that helps a lot. You can, of course, check this playlist for some more videos with sound design sessions like the one that we did today. 
And uh, well, that's it from me for today. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next video. Cheers.